Okay, y'all, today we're going to be doing a reading for the sign of Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or Jupiter, and this is going to be for the month of February 2022. The first card that already flipped is going to be the energy that is between you and this person that you're dealing with. Then I'm going to pull some energy cards for you and them, and if you want, you can swap it around. I'm going to read the left side as you and the right side as them. But if it'll make it fit, you can swap it since it is a general reading. So the energy between the two of you is the three of wands. So that means both people are waiting on the other person to come forward. So it's like you're mirroring each other and both people are waiting. So a whole lot may not happen between you and them during the month of February. And it's because each person is waiting on the other person. Your cards are the Queen of Cups and the Page of Wands. Their cards are the Nine of Wands and the Temperance card. So this person is willing to wait a long time because they have the Temperance card. They could be a Sagittarius, but this is just saying that they are willing to be patient and wait it out. With the Nine of Wands in the reverse, they're also willing to drop their guard. But the only thing is they want you to come forward. You have the Queen of Cups and the Page of Wands. So you're very curious about maybe when they're going to come forward. And you do have a lot of emotion for this person, whoever this is, because the Queen of Cups is in the upright. All right. Then you got the Page of Pentacles in the reverse with the Chariot in the reverse. They have the King of Swords in the reverse with the Six of Pentacles. So I feel like... I feel like after a period of time during February, if something doesn't happen and both people keep waiting on the other person, this person could start to get pissed off. In the beginning, they're going to be patient, but then as time goes on, if it doesn't start to be an even energy exchange back and forth with the Six of Pentacles, they are going to start to get a little bit pissed off about the fact that it's not moving anywhere like they want. But the problem is that they're not willing to do anything about it, not as far as what I see so far. With the chariot card in the reverse on your side, I feel like you're not willing to come forward. It's like there's a standoff here, and you're a fixed sign, so if they're not a fixed sign, then good luck to them winning the standoff. You know what I mean? All right, so you got the death card and the eight of swords. They got the two of cups with the five of wands. So they have emotion, just like you have emotion over here with the queen of cups. They have emotion with the two of cups, but the five of wands is surrounding it. So there may be other people vying for their attention. There may be some kind of drama that's going on in their life. Something that's getting in the way of this two of cups. Some kind of energy that's outside of them and you. You're starting to get up in your head as you get toward the end of the month and wondering if you should just let this whole situation die because there's no one coming forward. The Knight of Pentacles is underneath the bottom of the deck. So it just, it feels like it's like it's stuck. It, I don't know if it's just because both people are waiting on the other person or if both people have pride and they don't want to come forward. But just know, if this reading is for you, you're waiting on this person and this person is waiting on you. So we're going to see if this person is going to take any action throughout the month of February towards Taurus. Will this person take any action? We're going to get five cards and the first card is going to be their main action card. Whatever that is, the supporting energy around it will tell us more. Eight of Pentacles in the reverse flipped as their overall action card. There's the Knight of Pentacles again. The Knight of Pentacles is showing up again. That is the slowest one. I don't feel like they're going to do a whole lot of anything. And in fact, they're going to lose passion for it as they go throughout the month because they're not doing anything. The Knight of Cups is showing up. So if they do anything, the Seven of Swords is with it, though. So I don't feel like, no, I don't feel like they're going to do anything. Not, the way I feel they're going to do is if you come forward, if you want this person to come to you, you're going to have to come to them first. And if you're a Taurus and you're fixed and you mean you're not coming first, they're not either. I don't know what kind of sign they are. So they may be more mutable than you. They may be more bendable than you. So they may say they're not coming forward and they may break eventually. With the Knight of Cups being there, they may break eventually, but they also have the Seven of Swords beside it. So I don't know about that. All right, this card flipped right when I got the deck out for advice. We're, we're doing advice. So 
the five cards we're going to get, that first card that flipped is the main advice card. What you need to focus on the most during February. And then the next four cards just going to support that one. So you pulled the Empress card as your main advice. All right. So don't let this person cause you to become emotionally closed off. The Queen of Cups is coming out again. The cards are repeating themselves in different decks. But don't allow this person to make you become emotionally closed off just because they're not reciprocating with the Two of Cups in the reverse. Focus on your evolution and your growth and expansion in whatever it is for you. With the Empress in the upright, whatever it is that you can nurture and grow, that part of your life is what you need to focus on. Don't worry about communicating with this person and coming forth with the Ace of Swords in the reverse. There may be a lot there to be said, but don't worry about coming forth. Just give it through the end of retrograde and post-shadow and blah, blah, blah. And maybe then there will be, a you know, that person may come forward or you may decide to come forward. But right now, there's just more that needs to be known because the sun is also in the reverse. So I feel like the main advice is focus on whatever you can nurture and grow and allow this person, don't allow this person to get you to become emotionally closed off because they're being stubborn. All right. Thank you so much for watching. And that's been your reading for February, 2022.